Welcome back to Income Trading 101. Today is Sunday, April the 18th. I want to take a quick look at Bitcoin Cash. Um, oftentimes, I uh, have kind of ignored it, uh, really just preferring to look at Bitcoin. But um, let's take a look at this one anyway, because I know a bunch of people are active in it. And I am using uh, Bitcoin Cash versus the US dollar. And this is the Coinbase uh, version of it. Um, so, and I, I will use Coinbase because so many people who would watch this channel and uh, and use it are uh, are based in the U.S. And this is likely their their uh, you know if they're not comfortable enough uh, doing everything it takes to get into uh, some of the other exchanges, this might be Coinbase is likely the one they use. So, hey, before I start the video, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I love making these videos for you, and I definitely want to. Uh, keep going so let's do this let's just pull this on out give you guys a better look at let me get rid of that too don't need the volume give you a better look at Bitcoin cash right so what's interesting about Bitcoin cash is that it certainly had its spike back here uh, in 2018 when um, Bitcoin uh, itself had that spike but it really hasn't come back. Whereas if we were to just quickly overlap this with Bitcoin itself, you'll see that Bitcoin is, you know, I mean, Bitcoin is, Bitcoin's back, baby. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, I'll act like an adult for a little bit. Um, but just look at how much Bitcoin has risen. Um, it's just obviously people know it's skyrocketing and yes, it pulled back. Uh, this weekend a little bit, but um, just com I just pulled that out there to say that Bitcoin Cash clearly never has uh, gotten back to the levels that it saw back during the uh, the surge in Bitcoin. Um, this weekend it got up to uh, a little more than twelve hundred. Let's see, the high I guess uh, was yesterday. This high was do 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 do. Uh, twelve hundred sixteen dollars, and it's actually back down um in the nine hundred range, nine sixty five right now. So let's just pull this maybe from here, from here. We'll do it from here, and just start looking at this uh tech from a technical analysis and uh standpoint. So dive in, man. My mind is going crazy right now um let's see moving averages where we always start it's the first time i've typed in technical analysis on a video um all right let's use a 10 day a 20 and a 30 to start this uh video off I'm gonna turn our 10 day green uh, so i like to use that as my sort of short term buying signal i'll turn the 20 day red because that's sort of a medium term, uh, medium term selling, and then I like to have a sixty day just to give me an idea of where everything is and where it's been. So you can see that for quite a while, uh, you know, really from we'll call it October through uh, early March, uh, Bitcoin stayed higher. Bitcoin Cash stayed uh, really late fe February stayed above that 60 day and now um it, it sort of got chopped up a bit but now uh given these last few week couple weeks in april we have another uh another rally that has taken it on back up so you've got the 10 day higher than the 20 higher than the 60 which is uh the definition of a bullish trend but let's take a look at this lower level action um, in fact, I want to get a better understanding of what's happened these last couple days to see if there's any, or yeah, last couple days to see if there's anything to keep me from buying uh, this this uh, this Bitcoin Cash, this altcoin. All right, so you see this pull off that happened. Clearly, got a cross of the of the ten and the twenty, and right now uh, it looks like the ten. It looks like it's pulling a little higher. So the ten. Is above the 20 which is still below the 60 um but you know this was definitely a a strong and and significant 
uh, pullback um, to a level that was very similar. Uh, well, maybe we'll come back to that here later in the video. Let's take a look at the 30, though. The 30 minute, you also have the 10 is higher than the 20, but below the 60. So a bit of, uh, I just call that uh, low convergence of all three. Uh, and at the 15 minute level, though, it is clearly uh, pulling higher uh, to be uh, a bullish uh, pattern again with the moving averages. So it's interesting to get get sort of the uh, the 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 mixed signal on both the 30 and the and the out 30 minute and the one hour and the 15 minute though is fully there. So I like um, I think I mentioned before I like to enter trades at the at the lower uh, time frames and then manage them at the higher ones. So um, for me, if I were going to stay in this trade for say 30 minutes or an hour or, or even manage it at that level, then I would probably look to buy uh, Bitcoin Cash right now if I was just using uh, moving averages. Now I do like using uh, the other indicators also across different time frames, but if you were to just use moving averages as a trading indicator, and you used it for confirmation, if you used multiple time frames for confirmation, I think it still could give you uh, some pretty good uh, information that would make it um, uh, more useful for trading. I just like getting confirmation from multiple signals before trusting any single one. So let's dive into the, we'll, we'll get into the MACD, which of course uh, will give us an idea of where strength, uh, where strength and momentum is uh, in this market. So, uh, of course, at the one day, um, this pullback over the last couple of days wasn't enough to really deter it. And uh, this thing had a crossover back on March the 30th and has just had a strong, I mean, look at that. Can you believe back in, back then? I mean, this thing was trading around $500 and it clearly is much stronger now. Let's take a look at the hourly though and see what, what it's looking at like at the hour. So if you remember at the hour, the 10 day, uh, a 10 period moving average is higher than the 20, but lower than the 60. And on the hourly of the MACD has already given a bullish signal um, uh, earlier today, but I like to wait. I don't trust the MACD until it stays, gets and stays either. Like if it starts out in negative territory, like, like it is right now. I want to see both the blue MACD line and the uh, the red signal line cross back into positive territory. Positive territory is an indication of of it being oversold, but I want to see see it get up there before I'm willing to use the MACD as a trading indicator alone. Let's look at the 30 minute. I imagine it's something similar. So 30 minute, of course, ha has had a couple of different touches. Its first one. Oh, look at that. We had a cross that happened. Uh, we had multiple crosses yesterday uh, in the in the negative territory. So we had a cross uh, at 1530. That would have been 330. We had a cross later on. We had another cross, another cross. This is why I say I want to see, I don't want to use these crosses because they can continue to stay in a, in a range. And as you see with the actual uh, pattern or the move, the trend of the, of the price action, um, even though it was crossing down here, giving buy signals, it was still falling, right? And then we have this cross here, and we are just now at the 30-minute point crossing into positive territory. So this could actually be creating a nice little buy signal for us right now as, as I make this video. Um, let's take this to the 15-minute. 15 15-minute 15 had a nice cross yesterday, and it's... Uh, it went slightly negative earlier, but it seems to be pulling on higher into positive territory, which is an indication that a bullish trend um, is ongoing. So um, just for fun, because I don't do this often, let's look at the five minute. Five minute showed a bullish cross here earlier this afternoon, and it's just sort of uh, doing its thing, just sort of oscillating in this territory of uh, positive territory, but I'm not certain that it's going to get a pop like it did back here this morning, or if it's going to, to push on higher. So 
Um, sometimes too many indicators, too many time frames can just make things less clear. Um, so you really just want to do enough to get a clear uh, idea of what's going on. Now I do want to get a look at, um, I want to see if there are any, any uh, what do you call it, any levels that we should be aware of, uh, should be um, considering. So just looking at this red line across, that red line lets you know where price is right now. And look at this back here. You had this period back in May of 18 where we had some, we had, let's go ahead and pull this out. I think it's going to let me as clearly. You had a period where, in fact, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to pull it on out. We had a period where this current price range had support. Play a little bit of support there. Played some more support here. Played support as well. And we haven't seen this price range since 2018. So it's definitely worth uh, you know, noting that um, there was previously some support right where we're sitting right now. If there's anything that I... I actually prefer finding levels of support, even if they are old levels of support. Um, finding levels of support uh, tend to tends to support tends to help my trading far more than knowing chart patterns or knowing anything along those lines. Those support levels are there, and uh, people really do trade them. And the market, you know, sometimes they are created from from resting orders. Sometimes. They're an indication of what people actually think or are viewing about um, how they valued uh, the asset in the past, and their their ideas may not have changed. Now, I like the fact that this thing is sitting at 968, and we saw a previous high of four that you know over four thousand dollars. I think it could get back there. Um, the fact that it's been there once. Sometimes is an indication that it can do it again. Let's do a little Fibonacci too, just for the sake. Looking at the bottom of this, uh, back in November to this, just really trying to get this bull run that we saw through yesterday. Um, the pullback in two days, we had a high and a pullback all the way to 38.2%. And now we're up, we're, we're sitting just under that 23.6% uh, number as well. So maybe maybe this level, this 985 uh, level in Bitcoin Cash could be your, your, your next buy. If we get back above that, we're only we're, you know, $19 away from that right now, uh, a little less than that. Maybe if we hit that level, we could expect to see uh, Bitcoin Cash go ahead and jump higher. Um, but it obviously has had a strong couple of days Take it back to the hourly as well, um, just to get a better, a better view. Yeah, yeah. So we had resistance, resistance. Um, you know, I've got this whole. Just to make it clear, I'm gonna draw a nice little resistance line, nice little line right there. I want to make sure that I make it flat. There we go. This this area that we're in right now, this this price range, has been resistance for the last. Uh, let's see, played as resistance um, a few days ago here in April. Uh, played resistance a little bit yesterday, and we're sitting right here. So, man, I think we're at a uh, we're at a, a a really important level. I think if we can beat this, we get higher. Then this level, um, you've got a strong chance of this thing at least, at least retesting up to, up to I would say, this level here. Oh, sorry about that, you guys. This level here. Let's get that flat. I do love uh, that trading view. Let's me make flat lines and make sure. <laughs> um, nothing worse than seeing someone draw a line that ends up being, uh, you know, multi, uh, it, it, like connects all the dots, but it clearly is wrong. 
I don't want to do that to you guys. Let's see. I'm going to make this one yellow. We're going to make this one down here green. Uh, it's not green because it's... We'll go orange. So I think if we can cross that orange line and stay above it, we've got a good shot of at least, at least coming back up to this, um, you know, 1050 price level that could end up being um, a little bit of resistance as well. But, and that's still, that's still a, a nice little chunk of change between now and then. That's what, $85 higher in Bitcoin Cash. And I still just love the fact, I mean, when you look at the history of cryptocurrency pricing and you pull this all the way back, if it lets me, let's pull it all the way. I guess it's not going to let me with these uh, drawn. Still, it makes a big difference um, that, that these, I mean, there aren't many cryptocurrencies that haven't produced new highs, not just... Ah, that's why I set the one hour level. Um, it's not just that it's new highs. It's that um, this thing is nowhere near its its previous high. Because we saw Bitcoin Cash, you know, get as high as, you know, almost, almost well, $4,300. So I think there's some opportunity here for those of you who, who uh, want to take it. Of course, there's no shortage of opportunity in the crypto uh, altcoin universe right now so it's just a matter of which one you want but most of them are already banging around you know highs um, so you're buying something that's already trading at all-time highs yes it can go higher but if you saw something go from a penny to 35 cents sure it can go to a dollar uh, but or, or more but you might have already missed missed it for now this thing I think has some hope so um, I don't know that's just Looking at it technically, just looking at price history, I know there's more to all of these coins or many of these, and this one has uh, clearly some history, um, but <laughs> we won't get into that on this video. We just like technical analysis, and the numbers look good. So, hey, let me know what you think about Bitcoin Cash. Um, this might be a place I deploy some, some, uh, some investment dollars this week. Um, I like that it had this pop. I like that it's uh, well below its previous all-time high. Um, let me know if you trade it, if you watch it, and uh, whether or not I should uh, care too. Definitely subscribe to the video. Thank you guys for watching these videos. I'll be back again tomorrow. Take care.